Yeah, this is gonna be... <laughs> I don't know. So, I hope my machine is long enough. If not, I fucked up this wound. I'm pretty good at this. Screwing off things. Ooh! So, I, I reached the end of my travel. Since my machine is too small, you want to do the piece, well, as large as a piece as possible, but I might have zeroed, or I should have zeroed it slightly more in this direction. Now it's really on the edge of my machine bumping into the backside of the machine and then screw up my whole thing. I don't know. I hope it works. It's gonna be, yeah. Let's uh, add some screws to hold down some stuff. Um, and then hope for the best. I don't want to say pray because I do not pray. I just hope. Well, here goes nothing. This is the moment. Will it fail or won't it? Oh. So uh, M6 thread is gonna sit in here and then one of these uh, sideway nuts, but as you can see, this is set 6 deep already. Since it's gonna be a combination of this part and this part, it should be 3 millimeter deep. Well anyhow, I think 6 will work, but then I probably will not use this slot. Yeah, I'm gonna run the... cut all the way through part again because uh, that's gonna save me a lot of work on cleaning it up when doing a recut it also clears all the um, dust in between these cuts so now some pieces are really left floating like the ones that were sitting here I really do not like that because if it gets caught it could fuck up your whole design so Next time I'll just cut deeper than I actually need to cut for this wound just to be safe and cut it free in one go. I love this MDF. Cuts like butter. Uh, for those that want to know, cut speed was between 3500 and 4000 millimeters a minute and full depth of cut is the complete thickness of the MEF, which is 18. How am, am I gonna do this if I have a, a table that is more than twice as long? It's gonna be fun. Now I do have to round off these corners and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it by router if it fits if the bit fits in here because I don't know if it will else I'll do it on the CNC but then I have to make a jig to put one in do all the rounding off and then put the other one in make a new jig well not exactly but and do the same for the other parts I still have to make quite annoying I'll go inside and do the second part and then we cut it. myself on this I think if I really wanted to I actually don't but 
means it's rather clean cut. Very nice new bit, I guess. So I never work with uh, normal routers. And I hate this job because it's so dusty. And I could add a dust shoe, but yeah. So the round over will not be super duper nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Should not. It's not gonna be super nice. Also, it doesn't actually fit in the hole, which might be might become a trouble. If you a hey. yeah, so well, okay, could be smoother. So it might be too deep now, but I'll leave it. So now there's a ridge here. I'll send that off. change it anymore because I did two already so Yeah, I'm gonna <coughs> blow some air. colors <laughs> so the worst part the part I hate it most done so these are all the parts um, from tiny to a little bit bigger um, dust everywhere which is annoying so the spacers I redid of course and then the rest is kind of like a puzzle uh, I didn't use like the puzzle connector thingies like I did before uh, would be cool but I hope it's not needed and this is my way of doing it in multiple pieces and hopefully if you glue it all together it's strong enough. I never tried so who knows but that's what we're gonna try. So I'll lay it out. So we have one of these uh, that will receive all these inserts. I, I don't think I'm gonna fill them all, it's a bit overkill I think like 300,000 inserts to hold a piece of metal. don't think that's needed. Uh, but at least uh, a few. Then this is the part where it will be connected to a stand. So it will use some uh, rod with one of those sideway nuts. So M6 and one of these, these nuts. 
So that will fit in here. Not sure which way around, but let's see this or the other way around. Yeah, it would be nice if you can reach the this part. So it probably will be like this. And then then this is not drilled all the way through, which it should. So yeah, now it can be used like this. It's funny, I thought I would sandwich this rod in between these. <laughs> but I also put insert holes on this side for mounting the plate with the terminal. So it's funny how that works. I mean, these should be on the other side, which is not possible on my machine unless you move over the wood, which is annoying. So I guess... You probably do it like this, I mean... Then I do not use this ridge, I don't give a poo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this will be sitting here. And this part will be flipped over, sit like this. So maybe you can see it, it's a mirrored tweeter design. So they will become two tweeters, uh, one connection point here, one here, and then it goes down. And I'll probably put it in series with this, with this tweeter. Uh, yeah. Oh, battery is empty again. Then I'll shoot be fast. And this piece is for the top here. And then all these parts. This will have overlap with the bottom side tweeter. And then two small ones that will fit in here. <laughs> this is what you get if you don't have a table saw, you machining sticks on a router, CNC router. Ta-da! And we got a frame. Now I have to glue it, but not sure if I'm gonna do that today because you know how it goes. If you're going too fast, you're gonna make mistakes or get annoyed with the, the thing you're doing. But it should be fun, so I might stop. Who knows? <laughs>